just one drop of blood. A tiny sound in the ancient forest. But over 100 million years ago, it could mean the difference between life and death. Imagine a mosquito the size of a human hand, hidden in the shadows, stalking giant dinosaurs. This is not science fiction. This is the ancient mosquito, the true bloodsucker of prehistory. More than 100 million years ago, the Earth was saturated with moisture and abundant oxygen. Forests covered the planet, ferns were as tall as buildings, and every creature was many times larger than today. Dinosaurs ruled the land, pterosaurs claimed the sky. But amidst the myriad sounds of the jungle, a deep hum resonated, signaling a tiny yet bloodthirsty predator, Kulisetta gigantea, the giant ancestor of the mosquito. In a world teeming with warm blood, the ancient mosquito quickly evolved into a perfect biological machine, living for only one purpose, to drink blood. Modern mosquitoes measure only a few millimeters long. But Kulaseta gigantea, stretched up to 20 centimeters long, with a wingspan nearly 30 centimeters, large enough to cover a human hand. Its wings beat slowly, generating a deep, heavy sound, echoing like an ancient engine. To hear that sound in the jungle meant something was looking for blood. Its proboscis was an evolutionary masterpiece. More than just a simple straw, six tiny blades were hidden inside, coated in a silica enamel as hard as steel, strong enough to pierce the thick hide of a dinosaur in just seconds. In just eight seconds, it could draw nearly 0.5 milliliters of blood equivalent to 10% of its body mass. And with every feed, it gained enough energy to produce over 500 eggs within a day. Scientists believe that giant mosquitoes like this played a crucial role in the food chain. They were the link between the giant's blood and smaller creatures. The giant mosquito itself, despite its danger, was actually an important food source. When they were engorged with blood and became slower, they turned into a protein-rich meal for prehistoric amphibians and fish. A deadly balance. Transmitting blood, spreading pathogens, and perhaps even prehistoric viruses. Scientists have also discovered in some amber fossils that ancient mosquitoes were infected with precursor plasmodium parasites, the type of parasite that causes modern malaria. This suggests that malaria existed during the time of the dinosaurs. Some theories suggest that ancient epidemics spread by insects may have weakened many smaller dinosaur species, thereby contributing to the later extinction event. And what's more terrifying, it all began with a single bite. One twilight, a juvenile dinosaur rests beneath the canopy. The air is humid, heavy with the scent of sap and warm blood. A giant mosquito silently lands. Its long antennae scan the air, sensing every breath, every heartbeat. It advances, rotates its head, pinpointing an artery. Furthermore, their biological thermoreceptors were incredibly sensitive. They could detect temperature differences as small as 0.01 degrees Celsius, 
which help them easily pinpoint the location of blood vessels beneath inches of thick hide. And then, boom, the proboscis plunges deep. The enormous flow of blood drawn out, dark red, bubbling. The dinosaur startles, but it is too late. As it cries out, the bloodsucker is already gone, leaving a tiny wound and a pathogen that could wipe out the entire herd. What's astonishing is, to ensure continuous blood flow, the saliva of Culoceta gigantea contained enzymes 100 times more potent than modern mosquitoes, strong enough to instantly paralyze a wide area of the dinosaur's skin and prevent blood clotting immediately. Mosquito fossils found in amber contain ancient blood cells, proof that these blood suckers truly existed. As the earth cooled, the jungles vanished, the dinosaurs went extinct. The giant mosquitoes also ran out of places to survive. Size, once an advantage, became a burden. Dwindling food supplies and arid environments caused these massive blood feeding machines to disappear forever. The global decline in oxygen was also a key factor. Their massive body size could only be sustained in the oxygen rich environment of the Cretaceous period. As oxygen levels dropped, they couldn't get enough respiration to lift their giant bodies. Only smaller descendants remained, the giant mosquitoes of Siberia, Australia, Alaska. Still alive, still biting us every night. Genetic analysis reveals that the genome of Culoceta gigantea contains special DNA sequences that allowed them to efficiently digest large quantities of blood without cell rupture, a secret that their smaller descendants haven't entirely unlocked yet. Interestingly, just like today, only the females feed on blood, while the males live peacefully on nectar. Two distinct worlds existing side by side for hundreds of millions of years. And perhaps in the hum around your ear, still echoes the legacy of the ancient bloodsucker, the mosquito species that survived the age of dinosaurs. We often remember dinosaurs as symbols of power, but sometimes the smallest creature is the real survivor. Perhaps the prehistoric bloodsuckers are still around us, just smaller, better at hiding. What do you think of this prehistoric bloodsucker? Could a single bite truly have changed the course of history? Let us know in the comments below. Share your thoughts and theories on the giant mosquito's role in the dinosaur's demise. If you found this story fascinating and want to explore more terrifying mysteries from prehistory, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, activate that bell icon so you don't miss our next ancient nightmare. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.